hey, is this thing on? Is this thing working? Oh my goodness, it's actually happening. Again, oh no. So hello everyone. I see that a bunch of people are already in the chat. I actually gave a five minute uh, advance warning for a change of a live stream coming up. This is still very new to me and I'm still not scheduling things up. If you are watching this live, welcome. It is indeed live. But if you're not watching it live, well, be aware of that. Uh, the, these live streams that I do will all be going up uh, as replays that will be available for folks to see after the fact. And before I get started here, we're going to be talking about um, creator sets, new LEGO creator sets. Just, just a handful that were unveiled actually a day and a half or so, maybe two days ago. Uh, pictures of them. Hello, everybody. I see you guys. Uh, before we get started, I do want to ask if if the audio live right now appears to be in sync. So if I do this, does it look like it's coming up at the at the correct time? So I, I'm I'm looking to the chat. It should be about a 10 second delay before I start to see answers here. Does it appear that my mouth is moving at the same time that the sound is coming out? Waiting, waiting, waiting. There we go. One person said, cannot hear you. Nicholas, my goodness. Thank you. Jeez, thank you for your contribution. Okay, so there's a slight delay. Audio is a little off. It's not synced live. It's not in sync. Funky. I I I made a change. Couple Yep. Just a little bit off sync. That's weird. I, I made an update already. So the sound sounds good, but it is a little bit off. Audio is a tiny bit early. Okay. I'm not gonna fix that in in this uh, stream right here, <clears throat> but I'll try to do something else again. Additionally, uh, for the next stream to to help that out, Pyro Bricks, thank you very much. Hey Jang, love your stuff. Hope you're st staying safe. I am indeed doing my, my best to stay safe and responsible. Um, there's always a possibility that I may have the thing or have had the thing, and don't want to spread it to anybody else. So I'm I'm, I'm uh, exercising the the general best practices without being crazy panicked about stuff. Just you know, being reasonable. And Stately Basher 67. Thank you very much for your contribution. This is, I haven't even started yet, guys. At least let me get started. I mean, let me let me provide something for you. Uh, one question from Stately Basher. Will I ever review the UCS Millennium Falcon? It's not in the plan. It's not in the plan. Mostly because it's just so huge, I have no place to put it. And I, I, just, I just can't be uh, hoarding major big stuff that is not even that important to me personally. I would love to be able to give you guys that content, but it, it's just not, it's not reasonable. It's not in the cards. So uh, please be patient in the chat. I am actually right now not going to be looking at the chat window at all as I switch to talking about the topic at hand real quick, and then, then we'll come back to the, to the live uh, interaction. Uh, yeah, I do have my cheat sheet over here, but shout out once again to Promo Bricks. That's promobricks.de, which is just my favorite place to see really, really, really quick news, uh, including official and semi-official stuff. Also, obviously, as everyone knows, a big fan of Brickset. Uh, they focus a little bit more on being careful about uh, only showing stuff that is 100% official and and fully revealed, but both excellent sources. And in this case, uh, Promo Bricks was my own source uh, for what we're looking at here today. So creator three in one sets, I'm just gonna be looking at these pictures. Probably a lot of you have already seen these and I'm gonna give you my thoughts just based on what I personally think, you know? And I'm just gonna make sure that things are still going properly and it does appear that they are okay cool there we go just checking one more time just checking one more time still do this okay so this is the space rover explorer set it's a three-in-one set 
obviously, as you can see. And it's it's kind of, uh, it looks like it's trying to go for what might be real in the future, you know, a possible future reality. So a little bit of a combination of, of how things would actually be done and how things might be done, because you know, they really drill that home with the inclusion of this funky little alien here, making sure that you know that they're not trying to be 100% realistic. Right from the start, it, it looks a lot like a Creator 3-in-1 motorhome for the space age to me. I like the overall shape of it. I like this door on the side. I'm assuming that this opens up uh, either down or up, probably like up, gull wing style. Uh, I like this articulation. I always love to see articulation, even though they're, they're plastic wheels, but that kind of makes sense, you know, non-pneumatic wheels for some other planet, which may have, you know, different atmosphere, which will most likely have different atmospheric conditions and barometric pressure, if any, probably some. Doubt that's a, a proper airlock there. But um, we got a, a little rover that can be sent out remote. And I appreciate the inclusion of these arms here. I do wish that they were longer, that there were more segments included so they could reach a little bit farther. Uh, I feel like Lego used to do arms a little bit better. And plus these are the ratcheted ones, so there's only so much you can do as far as exact positioning. Hopefully they have some uh, ball joints towards the inside so you can really move that around. And it's got a proper crane on the back as well for moving large stuff around. And we're gonna talk about these alternate builds as well, of course. Let's see what we've got on the back of the box. A little bit better picture, just a little bit. But okay, yeah, there we go. So the, the door on the side does open or the hatch, I guess it would be. And maybe that actually is intended to be a proper airlock. It, it almost looks like they're trying to suggest that. They might not be able to simulate it fully, but enough that with a little bit of imagination, I think, it, I think it'll work. I think it'll actually work. Too bad it couldn't be a little bit longer back here, but I'm assuming that the, yeah, yeah, the, the crane actually folds up. The crane arm on the back folds up fully nice and, and tight and compact back there. So this thing is pretty cool. Uh, I'll tell you one thing that I personally don't like about it, and that's the color scheme, specifically the stripes, the dark blue and the dark red. No offense intended to anybody who likes those colors, any country that uses those colors, any region that uses those colors. I just personally don't think it looks that spacey. And it's, it's total subjective bias, not based on anything reasonable. Just my own personal feelings. It feels a little bit too much, a little bit too classic, a little bit too earthly to me. And yeah, so I, I prefer something a little bit more, more fanciful. Now, alternate models, I'll go ahead and get this one out of the way. Uh, Vic Viper, right? Uh, a lot of people love those. And this is obviously inspired by such a thing, using just one of those windscreen pieces, seeing the underside here, wonder what that'll actually look like in person, how much of that will be covered up. I don't think very much, maybe just a single plate there uh, probably, probably this hinges forward, I'm guessing. Just a guess. I think that is how it's done. Yeah, we don't have good pictures yet. At least I haven't seen better pictures, uh, just yet that are, that have been published, uh, properly. Um, but yeah, basically Vic Viper, a little thing, and it looks really good. As a tertiary model, as a third model, I think it's really good. And then this one over here is turning the parts of this into a base. Let me go back real quick and I'm trying to see. Okay. okay, there's that. Looks like this is a fairly wide angle look at it. It doesn't look like anything really folds in a major way with this, but this looks pretty sizable. It, of course, it's a shame that it, it's not fully enclosed around the back and this side, and that it doesn't have a roof but the options would have been in a set of this size. I think the options would have been to set it up to be smaller so that it could be enclosed. It would have to be significantly smaller, probably half the depth from front to back going along this way with the front being over there looking away from us right now. It would probably be ha have to be about half the size in order to be enclosed. So I think this, in this case, it probably was a better idea to go with the fully open design of it like this so that they could have way more usable details and interior uh, 
you know, just stuff that can be interacted with that makes sense for a minifigure who is living in this space. That looks like a hex bug, a little, little alternate version of alien life there. And it's kind of cool what they did for the transceiver dish using that, that windscreen piece. It works out pretty well. So, I mean, overall, this is this just looks like a totally successful set. Totally successful. I think all three models are good. And I, I can only realistically ask for two models in a three-in-one to be good. And then I expect like the third one to be kind of a an aside. But in this case, the third one, the smallest one that uses the fewest pieces is one of my favorites. I do prefer this, but... I'm partial to sci-fi starships and stuff. Okay, here's a clearer picture of mostly just the main thing. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Very happy with it. Looks like it'll be pretty decent in size as well. What we have listed for a price for this, though, is $50 or 50 euro. Uh, 510 pieces for this one. So the price to part ratio looks good. Um, price to volume of stuff ratio, maybe... A little bit off. Um, I would love to ask for this to be $40. Realistic would be like 45, I think, for what I'm seeing for its size. So 50 is not too far off, and hopefully with some uh, with some retailer discounts, some small sales, I think this could be in a, a very reasonable price range. And it looks like it's well done. Okay, so this next one is the Caravan Excursion Set, 766 pieces for this and an 80 euro or $80 US expected price for it. Uh, caravans, mo mobile homes, motor homes, uh, camper trailers, camper vans, all those kind of, kinds of things, just generally are, it seem to be good themes for Lego to use, right? For, for Lego to explore. A lot of people seem to, to like stuff like that. I like stuff like that, uh, even from the days when they made them just four studs wide. This is eight studs wide, I think, for, for the most part. Uh, I've got a very classic <laughs> classic uh, color scheme there. i got the, the 80s stripes. Uh, I feel a lot of Iron Man. Ivan Stewart, Toyota TRD racing design there, but uh, the, those kinds of stripes were used in, in many cases. Just a little personal bias again there. But a nice design, you know, this is fully enclosed. Full-size door on the side. Shade can fold down, surely. See on the, on the back. Uh, small side build here. Totally makes sense with the, the bench and a little spot where you can put your fishing, uh, your fishing pole. Brick-built little skunk. Brick-built, uh, I'm assuming that's supposed to be a, a beaver or a woodchuck, more likely a beaver. And a small brick-built evergreen tree back there with a bluebird up on top of it. Looks like. Oh, that's good stuff. Got a basic brick built two person uh, canoe or kayak. You know, it's kind of flat, but it's brick built. That, that's good. And uh, oh, yeah, there's this truck SUV thing, too. I'm sorry. I don't like it. I don't, I don't, I, I don't like it. I feel like it is just so cartoonish and it feels like something from uh, creator sets just before or at the cusp of the, of the inclusion of minifigs into these creator sets. Like when I started getting into brick-based stuff on this channel, that was right about when creators started uh, including minifigs into their, for instance, uh, house sets, you know, just regular, regular building sets. And sometimes they would include a vehicle and you could put a minifig in it uh, even before they started actually including minifigs. And then for a time afterwards as well. And they just kind of looked more like this. They were weird, weird proportions, huge compared to the figures, compared to what I'm personally used to from city and such. And it might have very good capacity for a number of figures in there but I don't like it personally. It's just, it's it's so wide. And then probably the worst thing about this to me is that the, the wheels stick out and the tires stick out beyond the fenders. Unnecess it's already so wide and then the tires stick out even farther than that. So sorry, not a fan, not a fan of that. 
See what it looks like from this side. Not, not as bad. I mean, the color scheme is good. The shaping, I think, is pretty respectable, and I'm sure that you'll be able to do a lot with it. But overall, just personally, not not a fan of that. But this this trailer looks even better from this side. Look, you got that storage up here at the front. It does have little kickstands, a little, little bit of a, a low skirt down here that keeps it nice and close to the ground. Feels very aero. Uh, lots of space in there. Take the top off, open it up from the side. That's all good stuff. It's like best practices, I'd say. And you can see some of the other details. So yeah, most of this is pretty good. Just I'm personally not a fan of the, the towing vehicle. Um, I guess this would be the B model. Probably uses the second largest number of pieces. And this looks pretty good to me. I mean, especially considering that it is a B model. Some of the, the blue, uh, which I'm assuming is dark azure, you know, is a little bit blotchy, a little bit patchy. I mean, what, what can you ask for? It's good to use up more of the pieces and people who have just uh, probably more likely people will have the white parts uh, to replace these if, if you want to make it more consistent in the color scheme. It's also possible to just add in more blue. I think, you know, to just, you know, invest into the blue a bit more and have stripes going all the way through. This looks, this looks good to me. This looks properly good and just change out, you know, swap out some colors and this could look almost like an A model. And this one does have the fenders at the back and it looks like the tires may be tucked in the front, which, which they aren't here. They may actually be in there. It might be sticking out though, but it's just, it's just overall the whole thing looks better to me. That's pretty cool. And then the lighthouse. Lego has been making more and more lighthouses lately and I'm not opposed to it one bit. There's, there's something about, there's something about lighthouses especially in, in miniatures, in models, that, um, I don't know, they're just, they just seem like a good thing, right? There's something about lighthouses, I guess, what is it? They're, they're, just, they're just benevolent structures. You know, a lot of things that, that humans make have, have a bad side to them, you know? Either there, there's some history behind why they were, they were created, it was ultimately because of war, or there's some major pollution or destruction that's involved in creating, in creating them, but lighthouses, I'm sure there are plenty of horror, horror stories involved with lighthouses, and, and yeah, they've been you know used in in movies in in evil ways and, and stuff. But lighthouses themselves, especially as a model and a little colorful thing, it's just it's just there, and it 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 represents a point, you know, like a generally a beautiful vista. Usually, when you go go to a lighthouse, you will have a nice view there. And then the thing itself just generally looks kind of nice. It, it's, it's literally a beacon of light. You know, it's a shining beacon at, at the tip of it. There's just so many things about it that just fundamentally the concept of a lighthouse is a nice thing, I think. And so I think it makes for a great subject for any kind of model. And they go made another one. And they made a light, hey, they made a lighthouse with decent size and some, some terrain around it out of the pieces of a weird SUV and a nice large uh, caravan, camper trailer. Good on them. So I think generally good design work done here. Just, uh, I'm not gonna talk about that blue thing anymore. Yep, pretty cool. Pretty cool, <laughs> the little brick built animals are funny. All right, here's what you were all waiting for. Well, many of you were waiting for. The pirate ship. I don't think we have a, a full official name for that yet, but it's a pirate ship and 1260 pieces. So to put that into perspective, that's like half the number of pieces in the big, uh, uh, oh no, the, the pirate ship, uh, what was it? It's like half the number of pieces in a typical modular building. You know, so it, it's a lot, uh, hundred Euro hundred, uh, yeah, the, the big pirate ship is 2,500 pieces. Isn't it? I'm sorry, I'm not looking at the chat right now because I'm focusing on these uh, these sets and I'll, I'll come back if you're just joining right now, focusing on these and I'll, I'll come back to the chat and try to catch up. Um, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's $100 for 1,260 pieces for half the pieces of the big pirate ship set. It's gonna be a much, much smaller ship, but it looks really good to me. And what's 
most fantastic about this compared to like a large Lego pirate ship set, any, any that they've done, is that this is fully brick built and that hull looks good to me. That hull looks nicely shaped. The figurehead appears to represent a red-headed uh, red mermaid and looks good. The sails look surprisingly good. They look nice and thin for brick, or in this case, plate and panel based sails. It's easy to get sails wrong, I think, in, in Lego if you try to actually build them. And these look like they're thin. We'll look, we'll look around the back, but that's pretty good. This rigging is fantastic. It uses those, those parts that were, I believe they were first introduced in, uh, in silver. I have a bunch of them in silver and then they did a, s a small number in yellow. I think they also have them in like a magenta or something. This is just a regular brown. And these are all the same length. But look at that. They look great. And unlike with string, you don't have to tie these. Uh, I mean, they make strings that have the studs at the end as well, but these are lower profile in their connections. And this is just fantastic. The shrouds, I mean, stay, it's just, just all of this is, is looking really, really good. Uh, it's got a built up foxhole. That's something you don't frequently see in models in general, especially more on, on the, on the toy side, like a proper fully raised forecastle. And it's got, yeah, that looks really nice. And then the, the main, the main structure back here looks really good as well. The quarter deck. We'll look at the alternate builds as well. See, look at this. Look at those sails. They're so thin. The only, you know, it's, it's a single plate thick, but then they just have this one single plate going across to connect to the curved parts down below. And I, I am, I, that could not be better. You want the sails to be nice and thin and they can be, they can be rotated. Um, yeah. You know, so that the, the ship can probably go on a, on a reach, not just a full run. It's, it's nice. All the, the windows, the shutters, they, they brought in enough color and this is most likely in universe. This is most likely the same ship back in the day that we see a little piece of in the ocean exploration ship set from the city line that's coming out this summer as well. You see just a little bit of its, its, uh, its quarter deck and uh, probably a bit of the, the main mast there as well. So a little bit of tie in, which just is a little extra charmingness. I think I also like what they did for the, the sails to create the skull and crossbones using uh, plates and tiles and grill pieces. I think that's pretty nice. But then these alternate builds, that is really good. Both of them look really good. And you can see with, with this one, this little, uh, little shore side, I don't know what it's supposed to be. If it's supposed to be a tavern or a market shop or I'm not sure exactly what you can see, it has a wheel. So this would probably be at the mouth of a, of a river that feeds into a sea. Um, with a mountain range behind it. That's nice that they, they have, they actually included one of the masts here. So you still have some, some extra height with it. And this looks great. This could, this could easily be an A model right here. Even have the jib crane out here. We'll make a little brick built horse and carriage. And it opens up. It probably doesn't close up completely around the back, but it does have the halves. It's like, three quarters and a quarter, two thirds and a third, something like that, that do come together. So you can see it has some depth to it. And that means that there can be details in here and details in here. Very, very good. This is, this is expert level stuff right here. And then the tertiary model, the, the one that you expect to be the least good, the least interesting, the least polished. It looks polished. This could have been an A model itself. That's so rare to see and so hard to do. But I mean, they actually have sandy shore, water, greenery, rocky uh, structure uh, and terrain and, and uh, trees, multiple of them it looks like. Or is that a tree? Is it, isn't it? 
little bit hard to see. Or is that supposed to be like a, a sculpture of some sort? Well, that's a tree for sure with coconuts hanging down from it. And then all this is fully built up, Skull Island. And they've got a couple little little exploration boats or a raft and a boat. That is just deluxe. That's a better look at just the ship. You know, see the built up shark, which is actually a pretty good shark, especially given its size to be fully brick built. That looks pretty good. I mean, look how small it is. Sometimes building things small can be more difficult to, to get them to look good. And is that a wheel that I see down there? No, no, no. It's just a bit of the anchor off to the side. I wonder if this has a working windlass also. Probably has some option for getting that anchor to drop. Oh, yeah. Um, gun ports that have guns in them. Hmm? Probably only two cannons included in this in total, so they're always showing you the, the best possible setup of it. But you can probably swap those from side to side. But just, you know, it totally makes sense. Uh, probably doesn't have a full cover for the deck here, and that's fine, given its size. Good stuff. And I think that's the last picture. Um, yeah. So now I'm going to switch back to the chat. And like I've said a number of times, I have not been looking at the chat the entire time, but now I am. So let us... What I want to What I want to actually do... I'm, I'm learning here. What I want to actually do... First, I'm going to start here and work my way back. Tell me what you think about the pirate ship set and, and its options. I guess I'll show you all, all three options. Let's talk about that for a minute. Just focus on that. Uh, Fahad asked, is this pre-recorded? No, this is not pre-recorded. This is presently... Um, Presently, as as you guys in chat are watching it right now, it is it is presently actually happening. Uh, Owen, I hope that you have a much better day. Uh, you know, maybe when you get to sleep tonight, wake up tomorrow, just feel better in general. Uh, unfortunately, the monkey monkey kid images were leaks. Were they really? I mean, aren't all of these leaks? I mean, it's it's all just, I don't know. I can understand. I can I can totally understand with stuff that that is contractually obligated to be held back based on a third party IP. But is the Monkey Kid thing a third party RP uh, IP? Is that actually being done by another company? Is there going to be like a TV series for it or something? I don't know. I feel like stuff like this, they should just be more, just be more chill about. Uh, about the, <laughs> once you've been, yeah, Brick, Ma Brick Mazing says, once you've built Metal Beard's ship, all others look small. You know what? I still have um, Metal Beard's ship, and I should bring that out and show it compared to the modern day, uh, uh, the, that one, the, the new one, I'm pointing at it. It's, it's across the, the room from me. The modern day uh, Black Seas Barracuda. Better, Harley's Lego channel says, better than the Barracuda set, in his opinion. Is it his or her? I think it's his. I, I can actually see that. Even though it's so much smaller, I can see that. That, that makes sense. That seems absolutely a valid thing to see. I mean, look at it, how much detail that it, that it has. Really glad making more live streams. Thank you, Elijah. Future episode where I compare the ships. I think I'll do that. What do I think about the custom sales for the ship? Like I said, I think they're really good. I think they're really well done. Von Yinzer. Von Yinzer. Thank you very much for your contribution. Really like the look of it. Going to have to have it. Yeah. Just wish they had cloth sails for it. I can understand that. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a case where, you know, we'll have to do custom ones or possibly find other ones that that can be made to fit if that's what you're looking for. But I can understand. I can I can also see the perspective that the designers went for. I'm I'm glad that the designers didn't go for brick-based sails because those just end up being just way too thick, in my opinion. Especially when they're made strong enough to actually be put into a 
a, a set that's going to be released to the market. I think this is a nice compromise though, because of how thin they are. And you know, I usually don't like to see the backs of, of Lego plates, but here it's just so consistent. See, it's, it's not that bad of a look. I, I can definitely understand want or wishing that they had, um, you know, cloth ones in there, at least as an option though. Uh, Twinception says no facts are substantiated, but believe there is or will be a monkey kid series of some kind, quite possibly. Uh, trying to catch up once again. Which of the creators sub theme here do I have the highest expectations for? Which of these do I have the highest expectations for? Well, unfortunately, it's the biggest one. That's the, you know that's easy to say, but. It's, it's definitely, definitely the case here. Uh, Ved asks, what do I think is my favorite version of this three-in-one set of this one? That's a tough question because for me, this is so impressive. I want to see how many, how many pieces this leaves behind. That's, that's my biggest question. I know a lot of the, the stuff that's used for the, the hull will be left behind, but it feels like it's going to use, use a lot. That just looks really nice. That looks so much like it could have been a Lord of the Rings set, a Lake Town set, you know, it, it could be a medieval themed thing. Just, I'm, and I'm not even into that sort of world very much, but between these two, uh, probably will edge towards this, but I'm, I'm interested to see what it feels like to have both versions. I'll probably end up buying three of this set, building all three which I'm not gonna do consistently in the future with three-in-one sets. I just don't have the time and a lot of people don't have the interest anymore, but for something like this, where all three are this solid and they actually can go together, absolutely. I'll definitely have to do that and probably you know, record the builds independently. But I wanna see if the pirate ship feels cramped, which could take points away from it. And I wanna see how many parts are left over for the, the building version of this. I'm going to move on. I'm just going to check the, uh, the chat here real quick, but I'm going to move this back to this one. Let's see what folks are saying. You may hear my dog uh, barking in the background, probably Amazon delivery or something like that, but it's live. It's all good. Uh, let's see. Apprentice Builds asked, do I think I was wrong about Kappa? Yeah, I, I, I was wrong about it not being, not having as much of an effect on my channel uh, as I thought that it would. I thought that I, I personally was going to be okay and uh, ended up not being, which I did cover in a follow-up video, and I have not taken down a couple of my videos uh, about it. My very first one, I made, uh, I made uh, unlisted because without sufficient context, a lot of people would take it out of context and would take it in in the wrong way. I do stand by what I said in every single one of those videos, though, um, based on what I knew at the time. And I'm still waiting for the other shoe to drop. Uh, there's, there's, there have been no enforcement actions yet, and uh, they are going to happen. And uh, it's it's going to get worse as new legislation that is currently in the pipe comes out of the pipe and makes things significantly more restricted than they are. Pyro Bricks, thank you very much. From Canada, thank you for the for the support. Most importantly, the, the, just the support, uh, the moral support and the positivity. Big inspiration to me. He says, hey, Jang, you're a big ins inspiration to me. Keep it up. Thank you. That, that's, I appreciate your your donation as well, but the moral support is is the most valuable to me because it just brings that good feeling that's that's worth any more than than any any amount of money you know in the in the the larger picture. Uh, let's see, sculpture on the island is a monkey. Okay, gotcha. Thank you, Joe's toys and stuff. I think the car is ten studs wide, right? Nope, nope, nope. Michael Young says, do not like the car. Thank you. Somebody, somebody agrees with me. Of course, I wasn't looking, you know, at the chat while I was talking about the stuff, but 
I see some people talking about K bricks in the chat. Appears to have some popularity. Excellent. What do I think the 20, oh, there you are. What do I think the 2021 uh, modular will be? I have no idea. I have not even put any thought. I've not had any, any spare uh, mental cycles available uh, to think about what's, what's coming up. I'm still trying to get, I'm still trying to get caught up, you know, with, with stuff that I'm behind on. Fluffnose asks, do, do I have a place where you can send a physical item? Right now, the only thing that I have set up for sending physical stuff to me is through, uh, through Patreon. I'm letting folks, um, uh, at, at certain levels and above send in many figures of themselves to become full on citizens of New Jang City. That's, that's my, my first time actually um, uh, doing something like that. So I have a P.O. box specifically for that and, and only that. And I'll look to, uh, to expand on that in the future. But that's it for right now. Uh, Jared Neville, never stop playing my dude. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the contribution. Thank you. Rico Champagne from Canada. Also, chat with MNR Productions. Not, uh, not set up to, and not ready to do any any co streams uh, with with anybody. Uh, I've got a couple, uh, a, f a fair number of folks that have reached out to me that I do need to get caught up with. Um, but for right now, I'm just trying to get my own thing together. I still have a lot to learn. Still, I have this this audio delay. I need to to fix. I need to make this more efficient for me to, to set up for streaming because right now it takes a little bit too much time to convert over to this. So baby steps, baby steps. Uh, Howl, as opposed to Howl, Howl 9,000, it, it, not over 9,000. Jang, you're, the, you're like the Bob Ross of Lego vids, man. <laughs> thank you, that's very, extremely high praise. I, I, I thank you very, very much. Uh, yeah, the car kind of looks dot, dot, dot. Car looks like the creator beetle, beetle a little bit. It's not as good. What does it take to be a mod? I don't know. Need to, uh, need to figure that out myself. Um, let's see. Okay. Was the monkey kid vid taken down? It was taken offline. Uh, for the time being, it's it's still visible to a small number of people, but uh, yeah, it's it's offline for the moment. You may see it making a comeback, you may see it going away again, you may see it coming back yet again after that. It's funky. I'm not happy about it. I don't I don't think that Lego should be going after people the way that, the way that they are uh, right now. Uh, any, oh. Um, yeah, I did switch that over. Does anybody have anything to say about this? About this set, some additional things. Uh, Hunter Simon asks, what is my dog's name? It is Bimo, B-M-O, based on the Adventure Time character. Uh, looks like a Nissan Cube, kind of that, that blue one. Unbrick me! I think... Uh, Thank you for the contribution. This is unbrick me from another account. I think I might be muted from your main channel on your first. Well, that's not good. Uh, remind me uh, if you can if you can leave a comment after this after this stream ends. If you can leave a comment just with a, a quick little reminder uh, on this stream, you know, in in the replay, uh, I'll look into that. But thank you very much for the contribution either way, and, and uh, I, will, I will definitely look into that. Uh, Minecraft Vivo. <laughs> Interesting uh, channel name. Hi, Jang. Should I open my box of Series 7 Mixels? Well, I mean, do you want to? I, I don't think that, that Mixels probably hold a lot of value to people. Like on the, on the aftermarket, I don't feel like Mixels are a good long-term investment. I don't think that you're going to lose a lot, uh, you know, of, of value from opening them up. I really think that it should come down to whether you want to have them built, you know, whether, whether you look at the pictures of them in their completed forms and you say, well, I wish I had that on my desk or something. I think you should definitely just go with what feels right 
to you on that. But I wouldn't worry about like losing value. I don't think that it would be an objectively, you know, uh, like like a, an irresponsible move to to open them up just because you want to. Normandy, my goodness, people, thank you, thank all of you for just the the tips. I mean, it's. And especially for the, the notes. So Normandy09 says, thank you for every little thing that you do for us and never stop. I will do my best to never stop. Uh, I, I just, I, I want to multiply the positivity as much as possible. And I, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, any, any other thoughts about this set? Let me move to the front of the box. So alternate view. Any, any favorites between these? If, if it's possible for you guys mentally to, to kind of block the difference in complexity, like imagine that each of these was the same size, use the same number of pieces, uh, which, which of those do you, do you think is the most interesting to you personally? Alien looks like it's from Mixels. That's probably where that, that thought came from. Definitely, definitely does. Second build looks like a Star Wars ship a little bit, but it, it's more of a Vic Viper. If, if you're not familiar with Vic Viper, V-I-C, new word, Viper. Twinception Production says, you're by far the most positive and professional presence that I know of. Thank you very much. That is definitely what I go for, so thank you. And I will try to continue that and increase that, improve that. And the chat does go by so quickly that I'm not able to get to everything, but you know, I'm doing what I can within, within re Oh, uh, ingoing fob asks what happened to my bionicle mocks? Most of those got broken down and, uh, most of the, most of the parts were long ago, uh, sold off on eBay in big, big lots. <laughs> El Brico asks favorite anime. The Saitama shout out. I actually have two Saitama shout outs and it's going to be three eventually uh, in my city. And the over 9,000 reference makes me think so now uh, a little bit. I, I wouldn't, I, I don't think I would consider, I don't think I can consider myself an anime fan. I'm just, I'm not able to watch that much of it, but I, I am a fan of it in general. Uh, I'm just, I just haven't gone through uh, watching a lot of it. So I, I don't, I don't know a lot of, a lot of the stuff deeply, but at, at a surface level. Pablo is still able to see the Monkey Kid stream. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Pat uh, Patricio says, can I show uh, Pirate Jang or Jang Pirate? Yes, of course. I should have done that earlier. I should have done that right from the start. Like, hey, hi, I'm Jang, and this is Fancy Pirate Jang. I've shown this before. Um, if, if you want to see this and you want to see other versions of Jang figures, look on my channel, just search for like Jang Bricks Hall of Jangs or just Hall of Jangs. I, I used the Iron Man Hall of Armors thing and built it up and put different versions of my own figures. I've got a whole series of them that I can, I can pick from. And also I am looking forward to uh, doing more things and being a little bit more fun with these because, um, you know, I, I, I'm generally a pretty straight faced person on, on camera. It's just part of that professionality that I, that I like and, and objectiveness that I, objectivity that I, that I like to portray and I like to bring to this, this content. But for live stream stuff, I can be a little bit more loose, a little bit more my natural self, just a little bit less filtered and have a little bit more fun with it. Um, because I, I feel like my reviews tend to try to be like, you know, Objective, objective, objective. If I'm subjective, then I talk about it. But you know, it's more more regimented. Um, but live streams, I'm I'm happy to have more fun with stuff like doing you know stuff like this and you know bringing other things into the place uh, within reason. Uh, I've got two more. Wow, um, Vanya, I've I've been watching you since I was seven. I'm 17 now. Are you serious? Ten years? What? That's right. I didn't realize, gosh, I need, I need to look up, uh, I'm not going to do it right now, but I need to look up, um, what the exact date was of my first upload 
and also the date that I started this channel because it's, it's got to be around 10 years now. Wow. Wow. My thoughts on Lego. So thank you for your contribution once again. Um, my thoughts on Lego Atlantis. It's it's good. It's very good. It had some really solid builds. I have not gotten and actually one of my one of my very first um, system based, if not my very first system set. Uh, reviews for this channel was an Atlantis set. It was, it was a little little small one, a little five dollar box or something like that. I think it's really good. Um, you say it's one of your. You say it is your favorite theme of all time. I think it's it's it absolutely deserves that. Um, it, you know, it, it had imagination. It had good builds that stand the test of time, and good molds. You know, I'm still using some of those 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 uh, uh, fish heads and things to represent actual fish in my um uh, my my aquarium uh, yeah i think it's a, an excellent series and a good model for original series from lego in general uh, so thank you for your question and thank you again for your for your support um germaine asks or says the car is a bit too big caravan is okay could i could i compare the metal beard ship and barracuda bay ship and this creator one in, in a new video. That's an excellent idea. That's probably what I'll do. I think that um, I, I was just thinking about doing the, the two that I have right now, but waiting for this one might be even better. Brick Boy 150. Period. Paragraph. Thank you. Uh, love the starship. Made a uh, OMG YouTube crazy. I made a chopped FJ 80 series with solid axle suspension system, but it got broke. We'll put it back together. That sounds cool. Hall of Jangs. How long did it take to make my city uh, up to now? <laughs> and it's still going. I mean, it's, it's not even halfway done. Uh, I started, I started the stuff of, that you see now and some bits of it in 2014. So six years of never being able to, to work on it enough. Uh, seeing Johnny Thunder got at, getting added to the minifig series. Are there any other characters I'd like to show up in these bags? I'd like to see classic Blacktron. I would like to see, I think that like a, an adult Max from the Lego Club would be a good one. Um, Jack Stone, I would like to see in minifig form just because I would like to see a, a Hero Factory throwback in minifig form. I mean, I think any of the, the classic... Oh, have they have they redone it yet? The the woman from uh, that was in the, I think, like early, early to mid 90s, or actually it might have been in the 80s as well. The woman with, with the red hair... No, no, no. Uh, started in Castle. Red hair, I think started in Castle, but around that, that time, so pretty old. Red hair uh, with white torso with the necklace, the, the red necklace. I want to see that character put into, because that just that is just such a cool character to this day, in my opinion. Hey, the cool factor, what's going on, Mike? Thank you for stopping by, but yeah. This channel will be 10 years old in June. Wow, that's not very far away. Uh, sorry, Mike, cool factor. I did not see when you joined, but thank you for joining regardless. Uh, I think I think we're I think we're pretty well done with this stream. I, I don't want to just drag them on forever, you know. Uh, Jermaine says, man, thank you for your contribution. Uh, he, so here's here's Jermaine's message. You've inspired me since I started watching your Scooby-Doo and Creator Expert videos in summer 2015. And your old Jang City. Okay, cool. And, you've, and I've started my own city ever since, just reading it in his context. Thanks for inspiring me. Excellent. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing the love back. And thank you for... For doing good stuff for yourself as well you know um, I'm, I'm glad that I, I was able to provide some inspiration but ultimately now it's you know it's on you you're you're doing it you're actively engaged you're making an actual layout and I think that's that's a fantastic thing I think that that's just 
a good thing for people to do in general. And when people are happy themselves and doing things that they enjoy, they automatically spread that out uh, to the rest of the world. It just, it, it does multiply. I don't want to be all, you know, weird about it, but it, it's just a fact. People who are happy, people who, who do things that they enjoy, make other people a little bit happier or at least a little bit less sad or a little bit less angry. You know, it's just positivity is a good thing overall. So you keep it up as well. Uh, all right. I am going, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. Let me see how long this has been going. 50 minutes, so a little bit less than an hour, but uh, thank you. Thank you all for joining up. Uh, we only looked at a few sets, but there was a lot to look at here. This will be showing up and I'm sorry about the, the audio sync issue. Thank you for giving me the information about it uh, actually being a problem right now. Probably less of an issue when it's down in this mode, right? But when it's more in this mode, then it's a little bit more obvious to folks. I, uh, I, I hadn't heard about the sync issue being an issue until the replays. I thought it was only a problem with the replays. I made a change since my last one. Looks like that didn't uh, work so I will see if I need to put in an actual delay or see if I can find what the what the problem is there and fix it properly for the next one. Thank you very much all for joining and uh, I will see you next time. Yeet. <laughs>